What's happening? I'm Morgan. I'm Sam. Uh, it's about been about ten years of film form now, and uh, we've decided we're just fucking off. So yeah, Nathan's a Nathan's a prick. Yeah, I mean, there's not much more to him now. Yeah. Kind of had enough. He's uh. There's just... a reason that a lot of people have been in and out of the channel over the years, and I think it's finally time for us to step away and leave that toxic environment. Yeah, starved on set, low pay, early hours. No respect. She doesn't like <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, so that in fact was a skit. Uh, you know, the acting was quite incredible, so I, you know, I wanted to make sure that was clear. Um, this is Morgan, this is Sam, that much is true. Um, and for a very long time, we were the three sort of core members of Film Form Studios. Um, started off making fan films together, and the boys made a couple of videos, but pretty much every sort of like creative decision, fan film wise, went through the three of us in some form or another um and we've also all more or less been in every single fan film yeah on the channel as well we play um, every character in every film in the same location i think one day we need to get we need to do a film each where like all of your characters meet and all of your characters meet yeah. and then like yeah well, well, it's harry and red ranger and that's it and ha, um, ha, and the uh, josh yeah, josh yeah and uh the guy in deadpool as well both of deadpool Oh, and, and Deadpool. Deadpool. And Deadpool. Yeah. See, they've been in too many fucking films. Um, basically, though, um, for a lot of you watching this, you've probably only seen me on the channel for the last, like, couple of months to a year. Um, and it's basically because from 2017 onwards is when we started working on our first Spider-Man film. And from that point on, especially during 2020, where we started doing upload schedule stuff, that's when you would have seen most of us. However, the channel isn't what it used to be at all. I saw a good video last night where I saw the example of, like... If somebody told you, like, we're all in our 20s now. I mean, I am 20. And if somebody said to me, wear the clothes you wore when you were 14 and act like you were when, did when you were 14, you'd probably feel pretty fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> and that is more or less what, like, us, where we, not what we're trying to do, but what I think we tried to do for a bit, where we were like, this is what film from is, therefore, this is what we've got to do. Even though each of us was sort of, like, coming out of that type of stuff. Um... Moving on to different things. Yeah. Evolving. And I think, <laughs> you know, this channel isn't what it used to be when we were all, like, always working together on stuff. So I feel like we didn't know... There wasn't, like, a set direction for where it was going. Um, however, there was a bit more of a clear pathway. Not, It's not entirely clear, but it's not... It's, there's, there's a plan in place, I suppose, that sort of, you know, is going to get us to the next chapter of film form. Now... We've still got Spider-Man Vendetta, which is a fan film that we've been working on for the last like, four years. We started filming in 2021, yeah. when everybody was still very yeah. much a part of everything. Um, and here we are, like, almost four years later, still in post-production. Almost finished, but still in post-production. Um, slightly better here now than that film. Fucking terrible hair decisions. I'd argue I have. Yeah. I'd argue I have slightly better hair now, as well, actually. <laughs> And I wasn't in the film, so... Yeah. There was a, there, there's been cutscenes, actually, where I got a poem, so... Yeah, there's been reshoots, there's been... There's, there's also the, we've changed, we've grown, basically, since all of that. Um, and this is sort of a way of sort of helping the boys move on, I suppose. Like, it's, you know, they're always going to be around. Um, We've got some plans in place to see them in a couple of videos. But I feel like for the longest time we were saying, film form is us three. And then I got to the point where I was the only person you'd ever see on the channel. And we were still saying film form is us three. And I'd still pass all decisions, especially Vendetta based. Um, we've still got group chats where we're like, have a look at this scene, have a look at wherever. Um, but people are moving on to big things. And this isn't a that sad thing. Like they're not, they're not you know, they're not going anywhere. You, you, you'll see them as much as you have seen them for the last year on the yeah, channel. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll make random pop-up appearances every now and then, and that's about it. Yeah, but um, but th but this, like I said, this isn't really about them saying goodbye, but more so what what we're all doing now and where you can expect to see them, where you can follow these lads and keep up with what they're doing. Um, I'll start with you, Sam, and just sort of talk about what's going on in the life of Sam. What you been up to? Yeah. So. Don't know this. Yeah. Come <laughs> here. 
so a lot of my life has been taken up by work, essentially. I work for a small telecom business doing sales and stuff. A lot of boring shit, essentially. But a lot of my life has been taken up by work and just moving forward with my career. But now I'm starting to do cosplaying. Mainly as Spider-Man, in all fairness. I've nicked Morgan's Thunder a little bit, but that. Um, <laughs> it's all right, bro. I'll get you back. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Just, that's just barely first. Yeah. <laughs> just cosplay as Harry, bro. I'm just do it. I'm out of shape, bro. I'm out of shape. Don't ask me. Um, yeah, you can follow me on Instagram at SJ underscore cosplays 15. And that's about all I've been doing, really. And Morgan, is your goal now. Yeah, well, uh, pretty much the same on the work front. Work it does take up a lot of my time work very late shift so it can be a bit shit but uh i'm also in a band called annual killers uh we're doing quite well right now i can't lie we've had a couple of good gigs recently like we've got a couple of tracks out on spotify and uh that also takes up a lot yeah bro (laughs) fucking put it all in there spotify youtube apple music instagram instagram at annual killers band um yeah, I've also got a couple of solo tracks out. Like they're a bit in in the past now, but that's also on Spotify under my my name, Morgan Price. And uh, I'm also starting up a little side project called Just Noise with the bassist from Annual Killers, uh, Cohen. And that is also hopefully going to be something in whenever we can find the time to do it. But yeah, a lot of music stuff and work basically. But um. I'm going to be famous one day, <laughs> hopefully, and, uh, you will be, <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's about it, really, but, uh, that's obviously why I have no more time for the films. Yeah, I mean, it was always going to happen anyway, because, obviously, Nathan moved up to Manchester for uni, and, obviously, Hill's film skills were always going to surpass, they were always well past hours anyway, but... Obviously, the amount that he was going to learn and the amount of time he was going to be able to dedicate to film stuff up there compared to what we could dedicate. Unfortunately, having to grow up and get jobs and be an adult, essentially, it was never going to... We were never going to be able to keep up or continue. I think I, I, I think the main thing was that, and it's one of the reasons why Spider-Man Vendetta has taken so long, is that it was never a film structure. It was always... Just having fun with our mates, and it was like we've got we've got time this Saturday. Should we come and film a scene? Yeah, or we've yeah. got a couple of weeks off from school. Do you want to come film the scene? And I think that was like why it worked. And we we were able to make films in like a couple of months before, but they were always like yeah, that was like the biggest change I think when we went through Vendetta, realizing that we wouldn't be able to spend as much time on it was that like we normally bash out a film in summer and be like bosh film out by September sound, and then throughout that summer we started working a lot and we were like yeah this just this doesn't work anymore <laughs> it's stressing us out and realistically as much as we enjoyed doing vendetta it became more of a more of a like an inconvenience on our everyday lives to try and like we were holding nathan back and there was kerfuffle but <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah a lot of work went into trying to sort schedules for vendetta because they'd be Days where Morgan's available and I'm not working, but then I'm working. Or or they'll be like, I'll be working in the morning, but then Morgan will be working in the night, so we just can't. And yeah, it was very difficult to try and balance adult schedules with kids' ideas, I think. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. Nathan's doing it on a, on a more professional level now, yeah, so, so he, it's, he, well, this is the he thing. dedicates time to that. Whereas this kind of nicely moves on to the next bit anyway, because... Um, obviously the channel was for fan films it's had many different like the channel itself started as a gaming channel then it became a film channel now it's become a sort of commentary slash reaction channel for just the nerdy shit that I like um, but in like sort of reflection of all of this and like planning this video and talking about moving forward I do realise how much I used to love just doing fan films and I like um, you know I've, I've expanded my sort of knowledge in film and you know for the last few years I've been trying to sort of get the experience and qualify myself to be a AD department member, first AD, third AD, whatever. Um, and I do enjoy doing that. But I feel like there's three people that I need to credit to sort of get in my mind into the idea of being creative again. And there's the first two people are Abby Hopkins and Joel Paul, best mate, girlfriend. They just always are telling me that I should be doing the right things, the wrong things. But because they're very close to me, I'm like, you just, you'd all 
you just tell me what you think I need to hear and whatever. But there's one other person called Daniel Hutchins, and I wanted to shout him out because I did get lost for a while in the idea of things needing to be very, like, professional. And they do, but there was always something about filming with my boys. And I feel like, even though that's hard now, because I live in a very different city... In a whole different country. <laughs> literally in a whole different country. It's like... I want to get back into doing stuff like fan films and short films and making stuff on the channel, which, you know, I'm not going to say anything is happening yet. I'm not going to announce anything. There are some plans for the boys to show up in a couple of future things, which are sort of related. Um, but I think this is a good point to kind of say, this is what film form used to be. We can see what film form is right now. Let's try and like merge the two to the point where, like I said earlier, I'm not trying to fit myself into my 14 year old clothes. But maybe I can get the same T-shirt and a size bigger. <laughs> bit of a shit metaphor, bit of a cringy that one. Was but that's, but that's, do you know I what I mean? That's like about. that's that's where we're at. That I think. Slaps, and um, fuck you. What can I say? Um, You've made such a good point. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right, bro. The boys are moving on. I'm moving on. But with, it's not like, you know. We will he, still remain the bestest of friends. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Realistically, film form is the friends we made along the way. <laughs> but yeah, no. Anything else to add? I feel like, yeah. I feel like that's where things are at. Um, a lot of you watching this channel probably weren't around for this era. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I mean, A lot of the stuff obviously you did, but I think mainly for me, the most of what I remember from film form is 2020. I feel like that was prime film yeah, form. Yeah, there years. was... Um, that was when we were like, we're trying to make films because we we had a schedule set up for twenty twenty. Not only for uploads, but we had films we wanted to make. And we made like one because we of lockdown. lockdown because uh, obviously because of COVID, and we just decided that we were gonna upload. I also think that it was a case of we were all sort of like there was a time where I thought YouTube is just like fun, mm. and now I'm like I'm nowhere near YouTube being my form of employment. But I've seen enough of a growth to be like, if this keeps happening, it could be. I'm happy to keep doing it. Like, yeah. yeah. And I think that's the difference between f just just uploading stuff and seeing what happens and like, right, let's try and figure out a plan and see what we can do. And, you know, my biggest inspiration throughout all of my YouTube, uh, you know, like wanting to be a YouTuber were Tomska, Ismahawk and other like channels alike. And they, as much as like Tomska does do other type of stuff, there's a heavy film influence there. And I think I definitely want to get back into that. And as I said, there's plans. As I, as, I, as I side eye over to <laughs> the man behind camera, what I've currently got plans with. I'd also like to like add that uh, Johnny Holder, bro. Yeah, oh, you, yeah, yeah just, you just, just, just. Yeah. got a point to make, you know. Is that like, it's, it's nice sort of like in what I'm starting to do with the music and stuff that I can kind of keep, keep in touch in what Nathan's doing in his professional life as well because they're now starting up Make It Media, uh, Joel and Joel and Nathan. And, uh, you know, they attended our gig, like, I don't know when this is going to be uploaded, but recently, um, and obviously filmed some video for us and they edit stuff for us. And, um, you know, they can obviously create a lot of stuff for our promotion that helps, helps the band out. So it's nice to sort of things merge in that way so that we're not like I don't know we'll always be friends anyway but it keeps us in the loop sort of I don't know it's, do you get what I mean? yeah yeah we've all got sort of um to my daughter as well yeah we are no. we've all got ways of like helping each other still like let's say I want to make a film and I'm like I need a I want to make a Captain America film and he's like I know a guy in my cosplay circle that does a sick Captain America or he wants a music video. Like, there's always ways that we can, you know, work together on shit anyway. And there's still just casual videos that they can be in. We filmed something with Morgan not long ago. Unfortunately, we lost the footage. <laughs> but Phil. it's still, you know, video. it was a good video oh, as well. Good yeah. video. Oh, bro. That was that so was funny. So oh, you have to cut all this because I'm speaking. But I genuinely, <laughs> I'm so angry. Uh, yeah. I feel, I, feel, I feel like we've covered everything, haven't <laughs> yeah. we? Uh, the boys, yeah. Film Form is, is currently a different channel to what it was when us three were in our primes of YouTube being... Do you know what I mean? And then, you know, it's, it's time to let go of that era and sort of 
come in with some new stuff and try and resurrect some old stuff in a better way. Because as we've said, I now know not only more about film, but I know people who do film now. And we can make things actually look good and not just sort of like... There's always You need to have that fan film element in it. I don't care what anybody says, you need it. But you don't need a street running about with a vlogging camera trying to make a film. <laughs> yeah, um, on a football yeah. pitch. Yeah. In the same car park by the same football pitch uh, being dropped off by our parents. Um, so yeah, exciting stuff ahead. Uh, stick around if you're new to the channel, if you're an OG to the channel. I feel like we're going to try and sprinkle in a bit of bit for everybody. Um, and check out our Instagram, at Film Form Official. Film Official. <laughs> uh, anything else to be said? Just want to round it off nicely by saying thank you very much for 10 fantastic years. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, just thank you for what would it be for me? Six years? Uh, same as him, I think. Oh, maybe minus one year. I yeah, so I'm yeah, going to say. So, yeah, there's been, there's been eras. Yeah, <laughs> so thanks for the last six years. I've had a great time. I'm still very inspired to make stuff creatively, and obviously I'll try and get involved where I can, but there's limitations. But Film Form is now Nate, and it's Nate moving forward. Film for one. <laughs> I'm at the promotion! Yeah, man! Why is this, why is this like, you know when Matt uh, Pat just handed off all the theory channels to other people? <laughs> why am I like, why do I need that red fucking leather jacket? Um, that, I'll, I feel like I'll cap it off. How long have we been rolling for? Let's have a look. This is a 20 minute video already. So. Alright, cool. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned next week for Morgan Spider-Man reactions and <laughs> no, and on a reel. Stay tuned for Spider-Man 4, Rise of Craven. <laughs> <laughs> stay tuned for more lazy writing. Exactly. If you, the fact you haven't, uh, <laughs> as, of, as of right now, you've only just left the channel. The fact you didn't review every episode of Percy Jackson that just came out and oh, gone. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Just, a, just a two minute thing of just like fast forwarded through the entire episode of Percy Jackson. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So apparently, yeah. the boys Bro, are leaving. Don't worry, we'll <laughs> cool. Oh, uh, yeah. This isn't goodbye. It's in a bit. And you'll see me fucking next week. Anyway, stay tuned for Boom Boom Joe reactions <laughs> every Monday. Um, Cool. In a bit. In a bit. Ta da. In a bit. Streamers. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo!